Yeah, hello, today I will show you a quick and easy way to find or confirm your FAR IPD. Uh, all you need for that is a piece of paper and something to punch holes through. I go through the whole method in this video and this is especially useful if you're ordering a big screen beyond since the IPD on that device is fixed, but it also helps you out on your existing HMD, you know, which might, so you get the best clarity possible. And uh, yeah, give it a try and it's very easy. Let's go. You take your piece of paper, then you just place a ruler along it, then mark you know what your current IPD is or what you think your current far IPD is, and then you just punch holes through it with a hole puncher or like with a screwdriver or I don't know anything pencil would work as well. And it's very important that you after that you measure from the left edge of the left hole to the left edge of the right hole. And then you measure and make sure that the IPD you just punch through the paper, especially if you use a pencil or something, is accurate, uh, you know, as you punched it in. And you don't measure between, like you don't measure like in the, in the on the inside of the two holes, because that's, you know, not correct. Okay, so as you see in the graphics, don't do that and uh, you'll be good. Now that you have the actual paper prepared, uh, what better way to show off the actual method than to go to those mysterious orbs in the shell mountain right here. And you probably already know what's going to happen now. You take the, the paper with the two holes, align it with your eyes and hold it right in front of your eyes. Make sure you're not bending the paper, like stretch it out a bit. You know, you pull it on each side. And now you look through these holes and focus at something in the distance. So how we are going to do this is uh, you'll have like a reference object, which is 10 meters or further away. So like something outside, I would assume. And uh, I would try to do this at night as well, cause you know, then you can look at like a lone light, like a street light or like something, you know, bright in the distance. And it's a very clear reference object, but you can also do this in daylight, of course. And I don't know, maybe like a tower is nearby or something, you can look at that. And, uh, but for our purposes, we are looking at this mysterious orb right here. It's quite a contrast to the other stuff surrounding it. So it's like, you know, perfect for our purposes. So what you see here is like the perfect scenario. You know, if your IPD matches the holes punched in your, in your paper, uh, you know, if you close your right eye, then the orb will be at the same distance relative to the hole punched as if you were to close your left eye and only look through your right eye and look at the same object, you know, it's going to be like relative to the holes. That would mean, you know, your paper is the same IPD as your eyes and uh, it will be perfect. But you're probably not going to get lack, you're not going to be that lucky at first. So let me show you the method I use to make sure to, to align your measurements and punch the holes in a way that's like matching your IPD. So instead of putting the reference object in the dead center, uh, move your paper a bit to the right so the reference object oh move your paper to the right a bit and close your right eye okay then look through your left eye and then align the reference object to the uh, to the left edge of the left hole of you know of, of your paper so you now you have like a bit of a reference point on the paper and one in the distance and uh, now you open up uh, now you open your right eye again focus on the thing in the distance again and close your left eye and now we can tell if whether the paper is narrower or wider than your IPD. So the paper would be narrower uh, than your IPD if you know the reference point is on the left edge on the left eye. But if you switch to your right eye, then the reference object is suddenly you know further away from the edge than it was on the left eye. So now you know ah the paper is narrower. Let's try like maybe a millimeter or half a millimeter wider. As an IPD, and then you punch the same, well, not the same, but you're gonna punch like a new piece of paper, punch the holes again, repeat the whole process, and now we're checking again. Um, should the paper be wider than your IPD, then the reference object on the object on the left uh, is gonna be on the you know same edge again. But if you open your right eye, then you will find you can't see the reference object anymore because now the paper is wider and it would kind of obstruct the view. Uh, on the right eye to that object. And of course, when you do this, like switch between closing the left eye and the right eye, just to make sure everything is lining up properly, you know, and you haven't like, you know, um, moved the paper while you were checking or something. And yeah, just for reference again, you know, this is what you actually want. Uh, on the left eye, you have the right eye closed and the reference object is on the left edge. And then when you switch to the right eye and close the left eye, then the reference object is still at the same position 
uh, along the left edge and then like you're pretty much golden right here and once you're very sure you have figured out your IBD with this paper method uh, take the take your piece of paper uh, stay focused on the object in the distance and just hold the paper at arm's length away from it from you as you see in this <laughs> Uh, nice animation you know that took me two minutes to render okay everyone clap for that accomplishment you know i'm doing it all for you guys <laughs> anyway and then you see the hole is getting kind of like smaller you know since it's like further away but relatively smaller and um, the, the depth the blur is gonna be less as well and then you can really make sure that uh, that is the ipd you're currently at uh, should your piece of paper still be too wide or too narrow, then you would see kind of like two dots in there. But if your IPD is perfectly dialed in, then by doing this, as you see here, uh, the the holes will align perfectly in your vision, uh, even as you focus on something far in the distance. And that's pretty much the whole method. I hope this helps you out. Should you decide to order any fixed IPD headset, there's only one out right now, but who knows? Or if you want to try and like optimize your IPD for other headsets. And I think this is a very interesting method and uh, I figured I would make the short video to, you know, share it with the homies right here. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.